Good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. As always, the support is much appreciated. It takes a man to admit when they are wrong, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And sitting here before you today, I will admit, in hindsight, I was wrong. You see the banner at the end of your screen? Formula was wrong. Whisper being in the national team was the right decision. For those who have followed the Formula Sports channel, you guys know that I rate this young man, Dujan Whisper Richards, highly, right? In fact, I was the very first vlogger, apart from Craig Butler and Dujan Whisper Richards' father, who operates a YouTube channel himself. I was the very first vlogger, apart from those two, to speak on this young man and tell everybody as far as the video could reach to look out for this boy, right? And, and that's why I burn when people say I'm in a rate whisper because that is just foolish. See, from the first time I saw this boy, I realized that there was something special here, right? So I've never doubted the boy's talent. However, for those who have followed this channel, you guys know my take on whisper being in the national team up until this point has been I do not believe amateur footballers should be making the national senior team now people i don't have an issue with his age it's not his age why i didn't want him to be in the national team at this particular point in time i don't care if a 15 year old is thrown into the national team if they are proven at sufficient sufficiently high enough levels to warrant national team selection right my take my perspective was that players proven only at the amateur level should not be in the national team. I don't see other credible footballing nations doing it. Whisper, up until the point where he started making the national team, had played consistently only at the schoolboy football level against underdeveloped teenagers. Again, not his age I have the problem with. It was the level that he was proven at, right? I did not think it's the correct precedent to set to have amateur footballers making our national team. To be fair to Jaime Grimson, he was not the first one to do it and probably he won't be the last. So that's my take. Or that was my take at the time. Got a lot of pushback to it. Some agreed, some didn't. You know, it was, from the reaction I saw, it was probably 50-50. You know, one of the arguments put forward to me was, you know, in defense of Whisper being in the national team was that while that could be the general rule, rule of amateurs not making the national team, Whisper's talent warranted him being the exception to the general rule. I didn't agree with the point. But to be fair, people making that point had a point to a certain extent. Seeing I did not agree with it, though, I was hard and fast on that principle. Amateurs not for inner the national team, none taught, from my humble perspective. Seeing, ladies and gentlemen, it takes a man to admit when they are wrong, you know. Formula was wrong. Whisper being in the national team was the right decision. It take a man if you admit when them wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me. Trust me. I will be here. I'm here telling you guys right now that I was wrong. I didn't have an issue with players who were proven at both the schoolboy level and the JPL level making the national team. I want to make that absolutely clear as well. So like, for instance, at Tyreek Zimini's at the time when he got drafted into the national setup, he had played both JPL football and the schoolboy football, right? He was proven at both levels. That I don't have an issue with. It's the ones that are solely proven only at the schoolboy level is what I had a problem with, with them making the national team. You know, players like Atari Ximenez, I had no issues with whatsoever. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of JPL players making the national team, I won't fight it. Seeing Another argument that I've seen many of my detractors make as well is that 
we have seen a number of big name national teams that have selected young prodigies for their national teams in an attempt to groom those players because they have recognized that particular player as the future, right? That particular player as the quote unquote next big thing. Now, to be fair, we have seen that in the past, but again, check how many of those players were amateur footballers, ladies and gentlemen. That is the differentiating factor. I'm not against Jamaica, you know, grooming a young talent for the future, somebody that the national team has identified as, you know, the next big thing or, you know, the next big Jamaican footballer and somebody that can really be a big deal for the national team in the future. I'm not necessarily against that. However, the big differentiating factor is any one of those young stylists that you can think of that was selected to any one of those big name national teams, those players were professionals. Whisper is an amateur, but here's the thing. And while I did acknowledge this at the time, in thinking about it in hindsight, I could have been a little bit more flexible where my stance on this particular issue was concerned. Because the fact of the matter is that it's not that Whisper was not ready to be a professional. It was because of his unique circumstances where you know his handlers wanted him to go to Europe as soon as he hit 18. And because of his age, he had to wait until he turned 18 to go to Europe to go pro. And so because of that, his situation really and truly in all fairness could not be compared to any young prodigy, young starlet that you have seen in other top class footballing jurisdictions because, you know, as soon as they are ready for the professional ranks, they are immediately moved up while, you know, Whisper would have had to wait until he turned 18 to be able to do so. Again, I was wrong in hindsight, Whisper should be in the national team, ladies and gentlemen. I still don't think he's making it on merit, but his performance against Honduras, ladies and gentlemen, was so impressive. Now, you know, he had good touches, he had bad touches. I think he, most of his touches from where I was sitting were good touches, you know, and to be fair, he did disappear in the second half. You're going to get that with young players, you know, inconsistency will creep into their game, seeing he's a youngster, still growing, still learning, still developing, right? But the performance was so encouraging that one wonders to themselves, if at 17, this boy can be doing this now, you know, what does the future hold? We all knew Whisper was a real talent. But here's the thing. I think that him being included in the national setup has made him a better player and has improved his game tremendously and has better prepared him for Europe. I think Whisper will be, a, will be more prepared and better prepared when he goes to Chelsea because of his involvement with the national team you know, being in the national setup, training with professionals, you know, interacting with top coaches and also playing international competition in the Gold Cup and these National League games and friendlies, etc., etc. All of this, I think, in, in a relatively short amount of time, you can see the improvement. You can see that he has become a better player. His muscle memory has sharpened, his reaction speed, his touches, etc. It has improved. His confidence has improved. In the Honduras game in the first half, our two, two of our three best opportunities, apart from the, you know, the one that was unfairly ruled offside, teeth in Central American referee boy them. Anyways, sick of them. Anyways, apart from that chance, the other two best chances, the glancing header, the beating of the two Honduras, curling the shot to the far post, hit the post, ricocheted off the post. Those were 
easily the two best chances in the first half apart from the goal that was disallowed came from the head and the foot of Dujan Whisper Richards people Leon Bailey was on the pitch Demar Gray was on the pitch again he disappeared in the second half but we're not going to hold that against him the moral of the story is while I still don't think he's making it on merit It has done so much for his game that it is in the best interest of Jamaica's football long term to have this boy in the national setup. The better of a player you become, the younger you become it, in my humble opinion, will cause said player to have an even greater upside, ladies and gentlemen. And in the long run and in the immediate future as well, that will only a, a better whisper and whisper maximizing his full potential will only serve to help this national team greatly ladies and gentlemen i think that in within six months after this boy has become a professional footballer i think he will become a beast of a player within six months good enough to, to have a real impact for the national team ladies and gentlemen seriously i think within the Within a year of him becoming a professional, a serious argument would be put forward that Whisper should be starting. I honestly, really and truly believe that, ladies and gentlemen, if he has improved so quickly in such a short period of time, imagine when he goes pro. I think within six months of this boy becoming a professional, he'll become a beast of a player that can add tremendous value to our national team that can have a tremendous impact on our national team. It takes a man to admit when they were when they were wrong. Whisper is the exception to the general rule. The Jean Whisper Richards being in the national team was the right decision. Another reason why I'm happy that he was drafted into the national team initially. I did not agree with his selection for the Gold Cup. I thought it was a joke to have an amateur footballer in the Gold Cup, and I didn't think he made it on merit. He didn't make it on merit. But to have a Jamaican with the title of youngest ever goal scorer in the CONCACAF Gold Cup, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel good about that. Can't lie to you. In hindsight, while I still didn't agree with the decision to take him to the Gold Cup, I can't fight it. I can't fight it. It's sweet when I see whisper knock up the back of the net. When I see net rattle. Because of the boot of Dujan whisper riches, I'm not going to lie to you. It's sweet me. See, it's sweet me. Knock up the likes button, subscribe and share, ladies and gentlemen. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think about what I've said in this video. Take care, guys. Stay safe and until next time.